drawing herself portraits. So excited. Not much time left. So All right, time's up. Are you ready to show each other these portraits? Yeah. yeah. I'll go first. <laughs> That's the worst. Why is your hair green? Well, you shouldn't have even tried. Really, though. <laughs> I feel so alone. All by myself. Mr. Beals, all by himself. I need to talk to Professor Terry. Mr. B, what have you got there? One terrible picture of myself. Wait a minute. <laughs> why do you say that? I think it looks great. Well, here's why. Because we were drawing some portraits, and when it was my turn to show my friends, they laughed at me and they told me I wasted oh. my time. Well, that's not very nice, and how'd that make you feel? Terrible. Sad. Yeah. All by myself. Even Mr. B felt all by himself. I did. Um, anyway, Mr. B. Yes. That happens to a lot of us, though. You know what I think you need to do? What? I think we just need to draw another one. This is what got me into the mess in the first place. You want me to draw another one? Okay, how about if I draw it? That'd be better. That'd okay. be better. You draw it. I'm so gonna draw it. What are you gonna draw? I am gonna draw. How about if I draw me? Okay. okay. Go for it. Come on in, kids. You're gonna want to see okay. this. Okay. Professor T and her drawing skills. There's a face. Yes. Ooh, there's a body and a wonderful skirt. Look at that skirt. I'm styling Girl, in that skirt. Professor T's green skirt. And then I got some boots on. Yeah. Gotta have boots on, Mr. B. That's important. That's right. Girl's especially, gotta have her boots. Especially in those uh, And then I got my glasses. Iconic glasses. I wear yeah. by Professor T. What do you think? I think you're missing hair. Oh, I am totally missing hair. But that's fine. You but, know, I mean... Otherwise, it's like, it's cool and all, but... Yeah. Little Professor T still looks kind of like black. Oh, she's kind of sad. She does kind of look why sad. Why is she sad? I think I know why she's sad. Well, I think she's sad because she's listening to all those voices that say you're not good enough, or you're not pretty enough, or maybe you're too fat, or you're too tall. Or, no, you can't be on our soccer team because you're so slow, or why do you keep eating all the tacos on the platter? No. I mean, they, they say that to the little oh, professor. Oh, so They don't okay. say it to me. Yeah. I've never heard that. Oh. But I think maybe, like, when I listen to all those voices, then I'm sad. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I feel sad, too. Right? So, I don't is know. there any good news in this dark, dark world? Yes, Mr. Yeah. There is good news. There's good news! Oh, good news! Good news! Here's the deal, Mr. What's B. Good news? If little Professor Terry would just sit back and not listen to those voices, okay. but if she would listen to the one who created her, huh. the one who loves her. Loves her. Yeah. Then here's what happens. She is going to She's coming alive! Yeah. Professor T, this is amazing! She's like dancing on the plate. Look She's alive. That. Her frown just fell off entirely. It did. Because see, when you're focused on what Jesus says you are, you're a child of God. Yeah. He loves you. Yeah. That's what we focus on. We don't listen to the world. We listen to what Jesus says. Oh we my are. goodness. This is giving me so much joy. Look at little Professor Look at her dance, 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 dance. She's got the Makes moves. me want to dance, 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 dance. I'll see you later. I got to dance, dance. Bye, Mr. So who are the voices that you are listening to? Are you listening to the voices of the people who don't really care for you, who say bad things about you? Or are you listening to what God says about you? God says, you are my child. And because of who God is for us, we can say, I am a child of God. I have been made new. I can live for him. In Galatians it says, I am crucified with Christ. Therefore, I no longer live, but it is Christ who lives in me. Because of Christ's death and resurrection for me, it doesn't matter what other people say about me, I belong to Jesus. And because I belong to Jesus, I don't need to follow anyone else, I follow Him. And you can follow Jesus too. If you've never said to yourself, I want to follow Jesus, maybe now's that time to say, I'm not going to listen to the outside voices of people saying bad stuff about me, I'm going to listen to what God says about me that I'm a child of God, that I've been made new, and I can live for Him.